Good morning, virtual learners. For reading today, we're going to start with our Journeys Practice book on page 116. And this page is going over pronouns and action verbs. So it says to write the correct verb to finish each sentence about a caterpillar and a butterfly. Number one, Jill look at the leaf or Jill looks at the leaf. Which of those makes sense? Mason. Looks. You just need to choose the correct action verb that makes sense. Looks. Number two, can someone read that one for us? John, go ahead. She sees a caterpillar. Good. So we're going to put S. Number three, can someone read that one? Parker, go ahead. It gets bigger and bigger. The so S at the end. What about number four? Can someone read that one for us? Mason. It turns into a butterfly. You are an S. And the last one. Can someone read that one? Lydia. She claps her hands. She claps her hands. Very good. Yeah, so they all end in S. So all of the ones that end in S are the ones we wrote. Looks, sees, gets, turns, claps. All right, we get that page filled in. All right, we're also going to look at the next page. This page we're going to look at together. It says describing characters. Says, write clear details to finish the story. Some details should describe Rex and Grace. So it wants us to fill in describing words. What kind of, what are words that are describing words called again? Okay. Adjectives. They tell us about the characters. It says Rex was a blank dog. What word can we use to describe Rex, who is a dog? What do you think? Good. Uh, good. Rex was a good dog. Good. He lived with a blank girl named Grace. What can we say to describe Grace? Oh, what? Nice. He lived with a nice girl named Grace. Okay, so now it's going to switch a little bit. So now it says, Grace wanted to teach Rex to blank. What could she teach Rex to do? This one's not so much an adjective. Um, Christian Brown. The shape. Good. She told Rex to blank. Logan? over. When Rex did the trick, Grace told Rex, what could she say? When the dog does the trick, what could, what could you tell them? Parker? Good job. Good Last one says Rex wagged his blank tail. Honey. Soft tail. Good. And we can read it all together. Rex was a good dog. He lived with a nice girl named Grace. Grace wanted to teach Rex to shake. She told Rex to roll over. When Rex did the trick, Grace told Rex, Good job! Rex wagged his soft tail. Good. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Sorry, one of my posters just fell. All right, we have one last page we're going to do, and it is page 118. And it says to circle the two words in each row that have the same vowel sound. Write the letters that spell the sound. So we're going to circle the two words that have the same sound, 
And I'm circled the two letters that they both have that make that sound. So it's either going to be a U-E, just a U, or a U consonant E. Alright, so number one, we have the words clue, trust, and true. Which two words have the same vowel sound? Owen? True and true. Good. And circle true and true. And then what letters spell that sound? U E, U, or U consonant E? Logan, good. U E, yes. So see at the end of both of them, they both have a U E. U E. So we're going to write U E on those two lines. Number two, we have the words prune, flute, and float. Keelan? Prune and flute. Good. They both have U E. What should these do they have? Do they share? Go ahead. Um, you can't you, you consonant E. Good. So on this one, you're going to write kind of like that, though. You're going to have a U with a little line and an E to show that there's a consonant. So like in flutes, there's a T in between the U and the E. And in prune, there's an N between the U and the E. Number three is goal. Blue and truth. Which two have the same vowel sound? Tommy? Yes. Blue, yes. Truth, good. Can you tell us what letter they both share? U. Good. And I guess on this we could just put a U on both. U and U. We don't have an E in there. Number four. We have tone, tune, and rule. John? Tune and rule. Good. What do they, um, what letters do they spit? Do they use to spell that sound in tune and rule? You and what else? Because they have look, they both also have an e. But is it going to be u e u e or is it u consonant e? Right, because look, there's a letter between each of their u and e. So we're going to put u that little dash again e u consonant e. And number five, we have blue, blunt, and glue. Which two have the same vowel sound? Nathan? Blue and glue. Good. And which do they share? What letters do they have the same vowel that spell that sound? Good. U-E. Good job. All right. When you are done with this page, this is our last page, make sure you get this all filled in. You can tear out this page and the pages we did from yesterday if you have not and put them in Keep at Home. And that's all we have for today. For Virtual Friends, we will see you later. Bye! Bye.